Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Levon Aronian and Sergei Karyakin. This is a game from the Grand Chess Tour, played in Bukharest in 2019. And this is the second game of the tie breaks. The first game ended in a draw. Levon Aronian had white pieces and he started with e4. Sergei Karyakin played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian game. Bishop to c5, c3, intending d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. d4, e takes on d4. e5, d5, bishop to b5. Well, taking the knight does not give white an advantage, because then pawn takes bishop on c4. Back to our game. Bishop to b5, knight to e4, c takes on d4, bishop to b6. Bishop to b4 check is the most played move, and then white usually plays bishop to d2. Back to our game. Bishop to b6, knight to c3, castling bishop to e3. Let's take it back. If knight takes on e4, then d takes on e4. Bishop takes knight on c6, pawn takes bishop. The knight must move, let's say knight goes to g5 and then bishop to a6, preventing castling. Black is standing better. Back to our game. Bishop to e3, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, asking a question. Bishop to h5, queen to c2, black to move. Knight takes on c3 was played, let's take it back. Bishop takes on f3 was tempting. But after g takes on f3, perhaps Karyakin was concerned that the g-file can be used for the attack on the black king. Back to our game. Knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, f6. It makes sense to open the e-file. Pawn takes pawn on f6. Queen takes on f6, bishop to e2, rook from a to e8, and... Aronian castle kingside 2. h6, controlling the g5 square. Rook from a to e1. Queen to d6. Bishop to c1. Bishop to a5. Pinning the pawn. Queen to d2. Rook to e4. At this stage, black is standing slightly better. Bishop to d1. Bishop takes on f3. Bishop takes on f3. Black to move. Rook takes on d4. Black won a healthy pawn. Queen to c2. Rook to c4. Threatening rook takes on c3. How to defend the pawn? White to move and this is the critical position of the game. What is the best move for white in this position? Aronian played the best move and that is bishop to a3. This is quite an amazing move. Black to move. Bishop to b4. Perhaps knight to b4 should have been considered. This is preventing queen to d3. Bishop to b4 was played. And now queen to d3. Perhaps Kriakin missed this move. Rook takes on f3. Let's take it back. What happens if black plays the obvious move? Bishop takes on a3. Then bishop takes on d5 check, and after king to h8, queen takes on c4, and white is better. And let's go back. If rook takes on c3, is that better? Then again, bishop takes on d5 check, and after king to h8, then queen takes rook. If bishop takes queen, then bishop takes queen on d6. White is winning. Let's go back. If bishop takes on a3, then rook to e6. And after queen takes on d5, queen takes on a3. And again, white is better. Back to our game. Karyakin played rook takes bishop on f3. The exchange sacrifice. Queen takes on f3. And now, bishop takes bishop. White to move. And to play the obvious, and the obvious is rook to e8 check. King to h7, white played the move and black resigned and the move is 
what is the move? Queen to f5 check. Karyakin resigned. If queen blocks the check, then rook to h8 check. And after king takes rook, queen takes queen. White is winning. And let's go back. If g6, then queen to f7 check. Mate. Congratulations to Levonaronian, who won the Grand Chess Tour. Bucharest 2019. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.